Hi guys, it's Sharon from Lovely Deluxe. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this look. I'm resurrecting my Diva Cardigan series. As you can see, I have this beautiful pale cornflower blue Diva Cardigan. It just came out as part of the Seven Wonders series, latest release. Uh, the collaboration between Blue Sun Doll Baby and Diva Long Tees, which is like one of my favorite collaborations in the whole wide world it's just like a match made in heaven how could it not be so i have matched my makeup to my data card again i'm gonna go see curious tonight which is the latest Cirque du Soleil show that's in sydney if you're excited for the data cardigans if you're a burlesque fan if you love a pussy bow and a round collar and polka dots and the color blue and roses and frosted lipstick and eye show, give this video a thumbs up. You should also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when I post cool videos like this, you get notified. You know, who wouldn't want to see cool content like this? Especially when I'm resurrecting my Diva cardigan series from two years ago. That's a really great reason. Uh, so, let's get stuck straight into it. You'll see me very bare faced. My skin is atrocious at the moment. I apologize in advance. So, get ready for it. Fresh face, about the skin. Sure. Right now. I'm gonna get in with the real technique sponge, my Bobby Brown vitamin E, uh, what is it, vitamin enriched face base. And I'm just gonna go in and put that everywhere because my skin is like super dry as well. So I'm just gonna put that everywhere. I love that this sort of gives a white cast, so it sort of gives you a bit more of a fresher base to begin with, which is really nice. And of course, my sponge is damp. And I have noticed too that my eyelids have started to get oily, which is not something I've ever experienced before. Going in with Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, a lot of things with my skin have changed since I hit 30. And so now I'm just trying to like catch up with everything that's changing. Skin has changed, it's a little drier, and then I've got these random oily lids. So I'm really gonna pack a lot in the middle here because I've got these two pimples and I really want to minimize that texture. And I've noticed I'm getting more under eye wrinkles which is so sad. <laughs> so so sad. Uh, I want this to last all night so I'm actually going to go in with my Marc Jacobs foundation. I haven't used this in a little while because as I mentioned my skin has been dry so I've been trying to keep it hydrated. So I'm going to custom mix these and just go really lightly, really sheer. Plus I'm like super fair at the moment too so I'm going to use more of the lighter color than the darker. I'm just going through my T-zone mainly. Just mix up that darker bit and then I'm going over the rest of the face and then I'm going to go back through my T-zone again uh, with a second layer just to build up that coverage just because I really want this really light. Going with my Maybelline Adri one, I'm just going to go over that under eye area and these blemish in the center of my forehead. Going away with the Kat Von D translucent powder and a big ass Spectrum A01 powder brush. Voila. So I'm gonna run this up because I'm so freaking pale at the moment. Like, yeah. I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shape and Light palette and a Spectrum A05 brush. And I am just gonna mix these two. I'm probably going to go back and conceal those spots because they're just still poking through. I think I probably was a bit too hard with the brush when I was powdering and not some of that off. But I'm showing up a lot of texture at the moment because my skin is just like a wreck. I'm just going to go through and do my brows. You guys know the drill, just like however you want to do your brows. Not very really exciting. I'll just quickly go through this. And I'm actually going to do something I've never done before, which is blue eyeshadow. And I actually forgot that most of my brushes are dirty from doing the Harley Quinn and Jake makeup. So it's a bit of a struggle at the minute to try and find clean brushes that I can use my face. I would really love to have like the Jeffree Star eyeshadows right now. That would be really handy. I'm going in with my Kat Von D, uh, <laughs> the irony, um, 
the shade and light eyeshadow palette I'm going to mix this like nude color and the white just because I want it a bit fair but I don't want like stock white going on in the corner and I'm using Kat Von D shade and light duo and the brush and I just want to go up underneath the brown bone like a Spectrum B06 brush, I'm going to go into the grey, just want a little bit and I'm going to take that through the crease, which is above the crease. I'm going to go into the Mavita Loka palette uh, and I'm going to go into skin, which is this sort of like lighter blue. I'm going to take that through the crease. Take off my very sexy hairband on my wrist. I should have put my bracelet on the other wrist so you guys can actually see it. Is there a bracelet on like the wrist that they use? You always put it on the other one, right? Like, see with my watch. Does anybody wear their bracelets or bangles or watch on the wrist that they use? Or do you guys all do the opposite? Okay, going in with the dark wave, and I'm gonna take that through the crease, just build those tones up. Okay, so sorry my mirror is in the way, but we're going to do a sort of a wing, and then I want to drag it, blend that into like the eyeshadow. Okay, so then I'm going to do a really thin line across the eye and then I'll do this other eye come back. I woke up to that this liquid liner is actually running out, which is why I struggled with it so much. So I finally got those wings on, they're not as opaque or as defined as I would have preferred them. But I'm dealing with what I've got and what I've got is a liquid liner that's running out. So <laughs> next I'm going to go in and I want to actually like connect this wing into the rest of the eye. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is the Spectrum A12 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Dark Wave. So just like a navy blue. Connect that through the crease here. That uh, Spectrum B06 brush, whatever's left on the brush and just buff that up. Then I'm going to go in with that brush again and I'm going to go with the black and then just like connect it a little bit more. Just like a small amount. And I'm actually going to like pat it through the crease. Just so I can like lay the colour down exactly where I want it to be. There's no such thing as blending too much. I'm gonna go in with my shade and light face palette again, and I just want to bronze this up a little bit more. I just lost a little bit of color with the blue eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through another coat of mascara, and then I'll do my blush, my lips, and then we're like pretty much done. We just got the highlight after that. And I got a little bit of mascara there. We're gonna leave it and then buff it off once it's all dry. Going in with Blush Bazaar, I'm just going to swirl the hole right at the bottom. Just because I want a little glow in the blush, I feel like it makes such a difference, it makes it so pretty. My favourite fave, Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick. Now the big question is, do I highlight in white? Do I highlight in blue? Do I do a different colour? I think I'm going to highlight in white. I think blue might be too much. If I do put blue, it's probably just going to be on the very highest point. Uh, just because I don't want to look too crazy. This is Becca Highlighter in Fell and it's broken and falling all over me. I'm just going to get my fan brush. like white cast things so I'm just gonna like get my brush go over it I'm gonna go back in with that little brush we were using before Oop, on the nose on the tip and then down the center and I'm gonna right on this five point because um bit there and just a little bit in 
I should have actually been using before the spectrum do I ended. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that and just Whoa, that was harsh. Okay. Now, lips. I'm gonna use something you guys haven't seen on my channel before. Uh, it is something I've owned for a very long time, but something I plan to do a video on. I have many videos that I plan to do and never got around to doing. I went to Lip Club with my sister March of 2017. We are almost at the end of 2019 now, it's almost back in the 20s. And a lipstick with my sister for her birthday. So this is the color cards. This is a new peach matte. It is vanilla flavored. It is the shade Lily. Yes, I named it after my dog. And it came in a box like this. It's got like a magnetic enclosure and the name on the base. And it's pretty cool. Like, and I feel like it's gonna go really well. It is like, yeah, a dusky pinky nude. It's much more on like, sorry, sort of the terracotta end of pink rather than like a true pink because true pink with blue eyeshadow uh uh, uh that's a bit intense for me i think if i was to make this again i would make it more on the pinkier side not like pink pink just pinkier because it's like a bit orange but i don't mind because i feel like the orange is going to make the blue pop and because i love a bit of shimmer I think I'm going to go in with pink opal and I think I want to put through the center here. Yeah, beautiful. Guys, I think that we're done. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, I love this like orange frosted lip with this frosted blue eyeshadow. This little like little wing moment. Tried to make it as snatched as I could, even though my liquid liner is running out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post cool videos like this. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. They are lovely deluxe, and you can follow me on Snapchat. That is Makeup by Sharon. As I mentioned, I'm going to go see Curious, which is the newest Surf to Soleil. Uh, show that's come out in Sydney and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. This was Sharon from Lovely Lux.